Next question is from Furtado No Insta. How much muscle imbalance is normal? Well, if normal, if you mean what is common, uh, a lot, <laughs> a lot of muscle yeah. imbalance is common. If you mean what is, I guess, ideal, you know, this is different um, from person to person. I would say you want to be, you want to have a good quality of life, and you don't want to have muscle imbalances that cause any dysfunction or pain. So you want to be able to move in your daily life, do normal things, play with your kids, do your workouts, and not have any joint pain or problems. One of the easiest ways, by the way, to help, and this isn't this isn't the answer for everything, okay? This is just a very general way to kind of help with muscle imbalances, is to do a lot of unilateral work, is to just do stuff one arm, at a time, one leg at a time. This, although it's not the answer, like I said, to everything, it does help a lot because when you, it, it really does illuminate quite a bit. Like you do a one arm chest press and you may notice like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize my left shoulder raises up so much when I do that. Or a one arm row or, you know, uh, like what, you know, one legged step up or toe touch or lateral exercises with one leg at a time, that does illuminate quite a bit. And then we've said this before on the podcast, real good rule of thumb is the side that is weaker and less stable, start with that side and then have that side dictate what you do with the other side so that you're not training your good side more than your weaker side. Allow it to catch up. I think it's really common, and I don't think anybody is perfectly symmetrical. Um, so mm -hmm. in, in, in that sense, that's normal, I guess. Uh, I think a good goal is to try and minimize the discrepancy from left to right as much as possible. So, you know, to Sal's point about doing the unilateral work, I think that's a great way to, to, to measure this and pay attention to it. Um, but that's kind of what I'm always looking at is uh, I know that I'm never going to be perfectly symmetrical. I know I'm always going to have a more dominant side than the other side, but I want to minimize the discrepancy from left to right as much as I possibly can. So everything from mobility and strength and control. So I want to be able to, what I can do on my left side, I want to be able to do on my right side as close to equal as I can. And I think a good goal is to pursue that, whether you'll ever achieve it I think it's a good gauge or measure on, you know, trying to counter all these imbalances that we all have. But I, I think it's an it's an impossible pursuit, uh, just because I think that's just not how the body works. I think you're you're going to tend to lean heavily on your dominant yeah. side always. But the pursuit of trying to make that as close to as uh, evenly as possible, I think, is a good goal. Yeah, your body's always going to be compensating, uh, and this is just going to change all the time, and so. Um, that's why these um, reassessments are really important to, and, and this is why we created something like Prime, where it's just a very basic test to see, uh, you know, you, you monitor your joint function and just to see like if your uh, your abilities are still there to be able to do like normal function of the joint. Um, and so I'm every now and then I'm just you know, checking up on that to see what I've been neglecting because inevitably you get into patterns um, and your, your body's going to adapt towards those patterns. So um, to be able to kind of look at that, but my goal is always to maintain a certain level of, uh, you know, primal movement patterns as some people call it um, in terms of squatting, in terms of, you know, being able to to, to run, to, to be able to throw, to be able to jump or, or you know, certain abilities I want to maintain. Uh, I have to be able to train that because otherwise my body's going to prioritize other things. And, and so some of these abilities are going to kind of go right out from under you. Um, but yeah, you're, you're always going to have imbalances. That's just inevitable just because we don't do the same exact thing on both sides uh, all day long. Uh, it's just a, a matter of, uh, making sure that your priorities are met and also that your your joints are fully capable of, you know, the kind of range of motion you want and the stability and support. 